it, um, discussing the substance of any communications that you had with Mr. Depp uh, or, or his security, and just focus on what you observed. Okay. I arrive uh, at Johnny's accommodation with my driver, Andrew. I noticed that there's an SUV, one of the security, the, the RST, resident security team. One of their vehicles is sitting outside the door with no driver. So I just assumed there's, well, something up, there's a security car there, but no driver. As I approach the door, I hear a, a muffled, a, like a muffled sh sh shouting and screaming and, you know, quite muffled though, because the entrance to this house, there's a massive oak door. I mean, it's huge, and it's got to be about 25 mil thick. So I, I open it, and it's chaos. It's uh, screaming and shouting, and, but... All I, all I can see with my eyes is Johnny. He's wearing a, a, a jacket, a hat, and a bag with his notebooks. And I always know that bag because it's a grey canvas bag. And he's, he's sort of, you know, nuts in one hand. So I'm saying, well, hey, what's going on? But, and it's screaming and shouting. It's madness. Amber's, Amber's irate. I mean, Tenacious, it's crazy stuff. Johnny's, uh, you know, shouting back. <clears throat> so I've said, Johnny, let's go, let's go, you know. Uh, uh, that's my job, to remove him from a situation. Let's go. I do a couple of steps with him. Johnny, give me five minutes, Mel. Five minutes. Well, he's the boss, you know. There's no, there's no bullets flying. So, okay, give him two minutes. I say, let's go, let's go. Eventually, I get him out. I, I manage to get him outside the door. We go downstairs. But Amber appears from somewhere. Now, I don't know if Amber was upstairs or in the room to the left or the, wherever. But she appears and she's screaming. You know, screaming, uh, berating him. She's basically berating him. Like, yeah, fuck off, she's saying, Johnny. Yeah, that's what you do, fuck off. That's what you do all the time. That's all you ever do is fuck off. You fuck off with your guys, you're fucking coward. That's what you fucking do, you fucking coward. Yeah, fuck off with your guys, your big man, all that, all that shit that goes with it. <coughs> Get some downstairs. Uh, this time Amber's on, on the threshold of the, 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 the uh, accommodation. And she's uh, screaming, you know, fuck off, you fucking coward. That you kind of words, you know. And uh, I get him into the car, and I want to sit in the same, I usually sit in the, in the front seat shotgun. I want to sit in the same seat at the back so I can have a look at look what's going on here and have a chat and have a talk. But when I get around the car, the driver's not locked the door, so he's out the door again and he's making his way back up the stairs. I get back round again. By the time I get to the top, there's two, two concrete stairs to the front door. He's just crossing the threshold and the, and the screaming starting again, excuse me, Amber is screaming Again, Johnny, let's go, let's go. And this time, it's a wee bit more force, and I managed to actually basically pull him out of the place. Get him into the car, doors are locked this time, into the car, and we take off. I got him back to my apartment using, uh, you know, a, a secret way through the, the underground car park and service lifts. I get him up to my apartment, uh, get him into my apartment, Wash, he start washing his hand, basic triage in his hand, washing it first aid. It's a mess. His hand, his fingers, just a mess. It's like one of them cartoon exploding cigars. I always, I always think in my mind that one of them, one of them cigars that blow up, you know, the cartoons boom, and uh, and it's so flapping around, and I can see bone. There's bone there. It's all it's smashed to bits, and he's, you know, he's wincing as I'm trying to wash his hand. Uh, anyway, I sit him down and I phoned uh, Debbie, Debbie, and us. Who, who's living in the same apartment block as me. So that's my first thing, phone Debbie. Phone Debbie, about 20 minutes later, if that, I don't recall, uh, maybe 25, maybe half an hour. But it, it, she turns up with uh, Dr. Kipper. So um, <clears throat> Dr. Kipper does his thing, nurse Debbie dresses it all, but Kipper 
is saying, right, this, there's no, this, we have to go to the hospital with this. There's no, there's no other way. We have to go to the hospital. This has to be seriously looked at. We get to the hospital, and that's when he, he's, uh, well, he, he, that's when his treatment started, you know. Okay. Um, when you when you were in the presence of, of Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd in the house in Australia, um, how far away were you from Ms. Hurd? Um, when I first entered the house, Ms. Hurd wasn't uh, visible to me, <clears throat> only Johnny. It's only when we started to leave, Ms. Hurd appeared, and she's probably, well, you're talking, Two feet, three feet. Did you observe any injuries on Ms. Hurd? No injuries, no, no injuries. I, I'm sorry, what was your answer? No injuries, none. Other than the injury to his finger, did you observe any injuries on Mr. Uh, on Mr. Depp? No, uh, no, uh, no. Well, I say no. You know, there was there was a mark in his face, and I, I I didn't know what that was, so I never really put it down too much. But uh, in the hospital, I took a photograph, and when I look when I look at that photograph, I can see two injuries. When we're sitting in the car, I'm so, I think oh, I said, oh, hold on, Mr. Khan. Oh, okay. Uh, objection to the extent he's going to be talking about what the mark is on his, since he didn't see what happened, and it's, he's not a doctor, so he can't describe what. Uh, uh, that's fine, Your Honor. We, 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 we can move on. Okay. Yeah. All right. Next on. question. Um, I think you've generally described for us uh, the kinds of things Miss Hurd was saying. How would you describe her overall demeanor when when she and Mr. Depp were in the in in, in each other's presence in the house in Australia? Um, good days and bad days. Uh, I, I'm sorry, I mean on that particular day. On that particular day? I had never seen him in the house that particular day. The only the time i seen uh, Miss Herb and Johnny in that house is when I arrived there to extract them. And, and how did Miss Herb seem to you when, when you saw her uh, on that day when you arrived to extract him? Crazy. Crazy. Crazy, fierce—you know, fierce. Okay. What was the uh, what was the last thing Miss Heard said as you were taking Mr. Depp out of the house to to go to your apartment and then the hospital? Yeah, uh, the last what words I recall were hearing is as I'm getting Johnny out is yeah, just fuck off with your guys. You're fucking covered like you always do. All right. I have no further questions. All right. Cross examination. Nadelha. Um, Mr. Connolly, uh, you still...